Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Merlin, and I wanted to come real quick and give you my thoughts and opinions on what I'm experiencing right now with Bright Christmas Morning. So I decided, today is February 2nd, and um, I decided that Bright Christmas Morning is one of the products I will be using for the month of February. And so I'm hoping to get through it because, you know, we're missing a couple of days in February. I need every day, <laughs> every moment to get through my products because y'all know I have so much. But Bright Christmas Morning is one I'm going to be using. And so um, you guys know that I have not started seriously shopping at Bath & Body until um, it was December of last year. My husband and I met up with our family in Tennessee for Christmas. And um, the day after Christmas, we decided to go shopping. The guys went their way and me and my sister-in-law and my niece, we decided we're gonna go shopping and we went into the stores. Um, Bath & Body was one of the stores we went into. And y'all, I was so overwhelmed. I didn't know what SAS was, had never heard of it, but I thought, this is awesome. Look at all this product. I mean, and the prices. And you know what? What's funny is I didn't even hit the candles or the other accessories. It was the body care that I mainly focused on and I just was picking stuff up, me and my niece. My sister-in-law had control, <laughs> but me and my niece, we were like um, just picking up anything and everything. So um, anyway, Bright Christmas Morning was one that I picked up. And I don't know if they had the body cream last year, but I had picked up two lotions, the shower gel and the mist. So, because I don't have a cream, so I don't know if they had it or not. Y'all can tell me. And I must have been sleeping on this last year because, you know, I like it, but it wasn't one that I gravitated to, to try and use. I did pick up um, Winter Candy Apple and the winter cherry blossom i think that's the one yeah winter cherry blossom and i really enjoyed those fragrance i you know i figure anything in red has to smell good right <laughs> the red packaging they all smell good you think of forever red gingham love um I really enjoy those. I have a coworker. She says, if you find anything that is in a blue packaging at Bath & Body, pick it up. That's what I want. Anything in blue. And for the most part, she hasn't been wrong. You know, she's really enjoyed Frosted Coconut Snowball. Um, Dream Bright, she enjoyed. Gingham, she enjoyed the original. Um, for her birthday, I picked up Endless Sea, so I'll see how that is. It's coming up soon. and um, But yeah, it's like, I really, I, I don't know, the color red is my favorite. But anyway, that's beside the point. So I decided I wanted to do a comparison since I'm using it from last year's version to this year's version. And so... Um, they're the scent notes, and you know, I pick up every note in this packaging. I pick up the berries, the blood orange, the apple. It smells amazing. And so with that, I think the shower gel, like this one, first off, let me talk about this one. So this one is good. They did a great job on the advertising of this. I mean, this is a beautiful package. 
Um, I like the Mal. She's cute, Nora. And the fragrances, I do pick them up. I'm not saying it's bad. This is good. But this one, when this hits my nose, I'm like, yes. I just, it smells so good. I fill my loofah up with the shower gel and I'm like, oh, this smells so good. And as you can see, look at how much I've used. I mean, I've just started using this and I just can't get enough. It It's invigorating. Like I just light up when I, I smell it and I don't get that same effect with this one. The body cream smells good and the lotion smells good. With the fragrance mist, for some reason, with this, this the 2022 version, I have to repeatedly reapply. Um, I can smell it, but it doesn't last long. And, um, I mean, I've used quite a bit already. And it's like because I'm constantly reapplying. However, with this year's version and look at how gorgeous this package is i really enjoy that i don't have to do it and you know i bought one for us at work and we kind of have a common area where we keep all our like lotions and body sprays because we we want to exper experiment with the bath and body so and they really like this one and it smells great so i'm just like okay this must have been a really good batch because I don't have to do that with this one. The cleansing bar, I'm so glad that I got another one. This one smells really good. I mean, you get that note, those notes. Um, you do smell the shea, um, but it's a great bar. And I used up one already in um, January. My project used it up. So, um yeah, that's my thoughts with um, Bright Christmas Morning. And y'all, I have this sitting here because I wanted to talk about this real quick. So, you know, I went to Walmart and I bought some bath fizzies. They had them for a um, dollar a piece. And I thought, this is great because look at how substantial they are. They're pretty big and, you know, I've got a big tub here. <sighs> y'all. They fizz for a second, like there is no fizzle to this. After a while, they just start melting. There is no fragrance, very little. At least, I've only used two. And so far, I am not impressed. Um, <laughs> so the first one I used, I used the one that had charcoal in it. And I know charcoal is black, but it didn't dawn on me that my tub would be black. <laughs> I mean, it was so dirty after I got out of it. And not only that, on top of that, it had glitter in it. So I said, never again. Well, I get that one. But after, if none of these work out, never again will I purchase these. You know, they're fun to have. Um, maybe the kids might like them. But for me, it's a no. Um, they're pretty how they're made up, you know, but no. So anyway, y'all, that's my thoughts on that. Oops. And I wanted to give my thoughts on Bright Christmas Morning. I'm enjoying it. I'm not saying one is better over the other because obviously I'd buy it again. So, um, I'm just really looking forward to using this this month, and I'm so glad that I have an extra one that, you know, if I want to use it again later on, I can, and um, so I appreciate you all coming in, watching my video, and if you like what you hear and what you see, subscribe. It's free, and that way you know when I decide to do another video and one is available. 
um, you won't be um, left behind. So um, in the meantime, send me some love. A nice a little emoji won't hurt. And um, until the next video, because you know there will be one, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye.